In 2012, Doug Schwab dismissed Joe Colon, an NCAA qualifier from the Panther Wrestling program. Joe worked his tail off to not only get back on the team, but get back on the podium. Now Joe is one of the top wrestlers in the world. Brad Wells has the story. Former UNI wrestler Joe Colon has aspirations of representing the United States in the upcoming Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Since finishing his collegiate career at UNI, he has continued his pursuit of being the best in the U.S. and even the world. To do that, Joe has competed internationally over the past two years. Just how they wrestle, the different scrambling, I mean just different techniques, and then just the experiences too have really grown for me and it improved. I didn't, didn't get what I wanted this last year, I mean I got second, but I mean it's an improvement from fourth year before, so just keep on building and hopefully this next year will be number one. Joe improved on his 2014 fifth place finish by taking second at the U.S. World Team Trials this year. The move to number one would need to happen at the 2016 United States Olympic Wrestling Team Trials. It takes place in April in Iowa City, the home of America's number one wrestler at 57 kilos, Tony Ramos. I mean, I beat him once, he's beaten me three times since. We've had some close matches, and um, I mean, he's, he's up there with, like he wrestled just this last year at the Worlds. He didn't get top five or anything, but he's, he can compete with those guys. And I mean, I know I can compete with him. I know I can compete with those guys. I mean, I just got to wrestle. You know, for these guys, the Olympics and Worlds, that's the pros for, for our sport. Um, so those guys, yeah, I mean, they are training. That's what they are doing. They're, they're trying to be, they're trying to be the, the best in the world. Joe's preparation for the Rio Games in Brazil starts in the UNI wrestling room. And the first chance to get qualified for the U.S. Olympic team trials starts with the U.S. Open in December. And he's leaning on the world experiences of UNI head coach Doug Schwab and assistant Tolly Thompson to help him get there. What Doug has done himself, what Tolly has done themselves, I mean, they both have made it to, I mean, Doug's made it to the Olympics, Tolly's got a bronze medal. I mean, I kind of want to do that too, and they know what it takes. So just kind of letting them lead me in the right path. You know, we, we, haven't, we haven't put a new name up on that wall for a while. You know, you look at Olympians, and there hasn't been an Olympian from you and I for some time. So we'd certainly love to, to put to add a new name up on that wall, you know, and, and, and Cologne or any of the other club guys that are, that are, that are training for it. You know, we, we, we'd love to put a new name up there. It's a dream. It'd be, it'd be an unbelievable experience. Hopefully I can get it done this year. Coming up next, we have more with you and I head football coach Mark Farley. We feature a couple of Panther football players and soccer highlights. That more right after this. Montage is your downtown Cedar Falls destination for award-winning wine, creative entrees, and fabulous desserts. The Cedar Falls Brown Bottle invites you to share the tradition, memories, and delicious Italian cuisine. 